very good evening and welcome to BCA News. Our top story tonight, there are no reported, suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Niue or in any Pacific Island country. However, a local Niuean who is in Asia is currently undergoing a period of self-isolation while in Auckland. Niue's health department confirms that a local Niue resident who was in Japan on training is in Auckland for 14 days as a precaution before returning home to Niue. The department thanks the resident for agreeing to undertake this period of self-isolation on a voluntary basis. A range of preparedness activities have also been highlighted by the health department. This includes a proposal for an updated travel restriction will be tabled in Cabinet this week in view of the growing spread of COVID-19 cases in countries outside of China. A multi-sectoral team consisting of personnel from key government agencies will continue to meet regularly to discuss and address actions needed from these agencies. The new pandemic plan for COVID-19 is under review by the New Zealand Ministry of Health. A team from WHO will arrive on the 6th of March to carry out refresher training on infection prevention and control and other matters for health staff and border control staff. The health department has received further stock of masks, sanitizers and personal protective equipment. Thanks to the Government of New Zealand, the health department has also received 10 non-contact thermometers which enables health staff to screen passengers of interest on arrival. A community outreach program will be initiated and public health messaging campaign will be strengthened. The health department is in touch with the WHO on a weekly basis via teleconference and with the New Zealand Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on a regular basis. Information and experiences are also being shared and between heads of health in the Pacific. Thanks to the New Zealand High Commissioner and his team, the health department receives daily situation reports from the New Zealand Ministry of Health, which helps guide decision-making in Niue. Niue joins the fight against plastic shopping bags by imposing a prohibition order on the importation of plastic shopping bags. The government, under the authority of the Niue Customs Act 1966, will impose the Customs Import Prohibition Order after receiving cabinet approval on the 4th of February this year. Effective as of 1st March 2020, importers and businesses will not be allowed to import plastic shopping bags. However, exception is made for plastic bags used for packaging purposes. The order will prohibit the importation of plastic shopping bags and is the culmination of the collaborative efforts of the New Air Chamber of Commerce, Ministry of Natural Resources, the New Air Tourism Office, Crown Law Office and the Enforcement Agency Customs New Air. Plastic shopping bags are known to have caused uh, harm to marine life and is a big contributor to the growing problem of excessive rubbish in our homes and community. Since the beginning of the year, signs promoting the use of reusable shopping bags were seen outside the main shopping areas, encouraging shoppers to use cloth or reusable shopping bags. Businesses with existing stock of plastic bags are allowed to use these bags to phase out by the 1st of June this year. The event organizes for the 13th Festival of the Pacific Arts and Culture, or Fast Pack has announced that it will postpone the international event due to growing global concerns over the COVID-19 outbreak. Hawaii was to host FastPAC 2020 for 11 days in June this year. FastPAC organizers stress the priority of health and safety for Hawaii residents and for all festival participants and will continue to monitor developments surrounding COVID-19. Currently, there are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Hawaii. The director of Taonga Niue, Moira and Atama, told BCA News that Niue's team of 60 from Niue and another 20 Niueans living in New Zealand will be guided by any travel notifications provided by the government in response to COVID-19. The last Festival of Pacific Arts was held in Guam in 2016, which drew a reported 90,000 visitors. Organizers say that Hawaii will remain the host for the 13th Fast Pack and they will continue to work on planning for the festival. The Ministry of Infrastructure, in conjunction with the New Zealand's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, proposes to resurface the runway at Hannan International Airport. The existing runway surface is showing signs of deterioration and requires replacement to ensure safe continuation of services at the airport. 
The proposed work includes resurfacing the existing runway, taxiway and apron, as well as minor earthworks at the safety ends and replacement of the perimeter fence. The design was completed in early January this year with the anticipation of construction to commence in mid to late 2020. Construction will take approximately 12 months to complete. An environmental impact assessment is being prepared in accordance with Environment Regulation 2017. The purpose of the EIA is to assess the potential environmental and social impacts associated with the project. GHD Limited, on behalf of the Ministry of Infrastructure, are continually seeking feedback from members of the public and government stakeholders regarding any environmental or social concerns they may have with the project. There are serious invasive weed problems in Niue with the Department of Environment working with New Zealand experts to rectify the issue. BCN News spoke to the consultants working with the Department of Environment about this issue. As part of the Pacific Regional Invasive Species Management Support Services funded by Global Environment Funding Facility, support is being provided to the Department of Environment in reading these weeds. A workshop was held last week to identify and outline plans to read the island of these weeds. Landcare Research New Zealand Science Team Leader Lin Lee Hayes told BCN News these weeds are not native and were introduced into Niue. Some of the weeds she mentioned are lantana and air potato. Hayes says it is too difficult and expensive to control these weeds using herbicide or pulling them out or cutting them down. The only option is to use natural enemies of the weeds. There's a lot of concern that some of these weeds uh, pose a serious threat to Niue. They could permanently damage the forest and change the forest from native species into unwanted introduced plants. So there's a great threat to the loss of, of biodiversity. But also for people trying to grow food, for food security, the weeds are a huge cost and a huge burden to manage. So I think there's an awful lot of weeds that nobody likes, that they do no good, they do a lot of harm, they take up a lot of time and people can see that they are getting worse and they want some solutions. The Broadcasting Corporation of New Air is working with the Pacific Corporation Broadcasting Limited in upgrading the Pacifica channel. This will mean high definition quality of program content from Pacifica TV, which is currently being shown on TV New Air channel. A team of technicians from PCBL have assisted BCN's technicians in upgrading the channel from standard definition to high definition. This has involved the installation of new encoders. The upgrade assistance funded by New Zealand's MFAT through the Pacific Corporation Broadcasting Limited and is in line with BCN's long-term plan for full HD transmission of its TV program content. And finally, the village of Tonga has a new member for their village council who was duly elected to the council last week. He is Ta Fakato Moanaloka Paola. A public notice announced by the Chief Electoral Officer, Darren Tohavaka, confirmed that the by-elections for the vacant seat, which was scheduled to be held on the 14th of March, will not take place. Paola will join two other members of the council until the next village council elections in 2022. And that's BCN News for tonight. Thank you for joining us. Do join us same time tomorrow. Until then, have a good night.